Welcome to our deep dive into the evolving landscape of BRICS in 2024. Are you curious about the future of this influential group? Is the concept of a BRICS currency just a myth or a potential reality? Today, we'll explore these questions and more. From the groundbreaking Maharaja bonds to the expanding influence into Russia's chairmanship, join us as we delve into what lies ahead for BRICS in 2024 and how their strategies might reshape the world as we know it. Don't forget to share your thoughts and perspectives in the comments below. How do you see BRICS influencing the future of international relations in the U.S. economy? Engage with us, share your views, and let's start a conversation. Before we dive in, please take a moment to show your support by clicking the like button. Your engagement really helps us out. What is the status of BRICS currency? The new development bank and DB of BRICS is making a significant move in the global financial market by preparing to launch a series of bonds known as Maharaja bonds, valued at $28 billion. These bonds will be unique as they will be available for purchase in the local currencies of the BRICS member nations, Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa, rather than in US dollars. This initiative is a key component of BRICS's strategy for de-dollarization, aiming to decrease reliance on the American currency and to promote reforms in the global economic system. In addition to the Maharaja bonds, the BRICS Bank is also planning to raise an additional $3 billion in local currencies. This funding will be utilized to finance infrastructure projects in developing countries, thereby reducing their dependency on the US dollar for financial transactions. The aim is to empower the economies of the BRICS nations and decrease the hegemony of the US dollar in global markets. The launch of these bonds is currently pending regulatory approvals. Once approved, they will be made available to a diverse group of investors, including governments, financial institutions, and individual investors. This move is not just a financial innovation, but also represents a geopolitical statement, as it marks a shift towards diversifying global financial reliance away from the US dollar and fortifying local economies and currencies. The successful implementation of this initiative could have significant implications for global trade and investment patterns, potentially leading to increased stability and growth within the BRICS nations, and creating a new era of financial independence from the US dollar. How does the Russia's chairmanship of BRICS in 2024 could change its development? Russia's chairmanship of BRICS in 2024 marks a significant development in the group's trajectory, with a focus on strengthening multilateralism for equitable global development and security. This chairmanship aligns with Russia's commitment to foster a multipolar international order and a fair global financial and trade system. Under the theme strengthening multilateralism for equitable global development and security, Russia aims to enhance foreign policy coordination among BRICS member countries and collaboratively address international and regional security challenges. The chairmanship will also emphasize practical implementation of the BRICS economic partnership strategy. Until 2025 in the Action Plan for BRICS Innovation Cooperation for 2021-2024, these initiatives focus on ensuring energy and food security, enhancing BRICS's role in the international monetary system, expanding interbank cooperation, and increasing the use of national currencies in mutual trade. Russia's priorities during its BRICS chairmanship include promoting cooperation in science, high technology, healthcare, environmental protection, culture, sports, youth exchanges, and civil society. Over 200 events across various Russian cities are planned as part of the chairmanship, with a significant event being the BRICS Summit in Kazan in October. In addition to these areas, the chairmanship will address the challenges and opportunities rising from the expansion of BRICS, with the inclusion of new members like Egypt, Ethiopia, Iran, Saudi Arabia, and the UAE. The group now represents a more diverse set of economies and political interests, further solidifying its position in global affairs. This chairmanship also comes at a time when BRICS is gaining more supporters in like-minded countries, emphasizing its growing authority and role in international affairs. The addition of new members is indicative of BRICS's growing influence in aligns with Russia's aspiration to form a multipolar international order. What is the US and European stance on BRICS? As of January 2024, the expansion of the BRICS group has been a significant topic in global geopolitics, with the group planning to add new members. This move has prompted varied responses from European leaders and has implications for the geopolitical landscape. The United States and Germany appear to be taking a relaxed stance towards the BRICS expansion, 
U.S. National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan stated that BRICS is not viewed as a geopolitical rival to the United States, emphasizing the divergent interests within the group. German Foreign Minister Annalena Baerbock has indicated that it is legitimate for countries to seek alliances in today's globalized world and stressed the importance of cooperation and partnership. However, Reinhard Tickefer, a member of the European Parliament from the Green Party, expressed concerns over the increasing authoritarian nature of the BRICS group with its new members. Highlighting a shift towards a more confrontational stance against the West, the European Union and its member states are rethinking their foreign energy policies, especially in the wake of Russia's invasion of Ukraine. There is a clear divide between Europe and the BRICS on the rapid phasing out of fossil fuels, with BRICS countries viewing them as crucial for the growth and development of low- and middle-income countries. However, there are also areas of common interest, such as the pursuit of net-zero emissions and the rapid rollout of renewable energy. The EU is encouraged to focus on these overlapping interests to foster cooperation on the energy transition. The BRICS expansion reflects a growing desire among developing countries to have a greater role in shaping international decision-making. This expansion is particularly significant because it brings countries under Western sanctions, like Iran, into the fold, providing them with alternative trading opportunities. The inclusion of major oil producers such as Saudi Arabia and the UAE adds an economic backbone to BRICS, which could be significant given the energy demands in member countries like India and China. In summary, European leaders are adopting a cautious but open approach to the BRICS expansion. While there are concerns about the group's changing dynamics and increased authoritarian tendencies, there are also opportunities for cooperation, particularly in areas like renewable energy and climate action. The expansion of BRICS marks a pivotal moment in global geopolitics, indicating a shift towards a more multipolar world order. Why did Argentina not join BRICS? Argentina has decided not to join the BRICS bloc, a decision spearheaded by the country's newly elected far-right president Javier Milei. Milei's decision marks a significant shift in Argentina's foreign and economic policy direction. President Milei, who assumed office in December, has chosen to align Argentina's foreign policy more closely with Western nations, particularly the United States and Israel, moving away from the previous administration's approach to building ties with other developing countries. During his election campaign, Miley was critical of countries he described as ruled by communism, such as China and Brazil, and he expressed his intention to align Argentina with free nations of the West. This ideological stance reflects a departure from the policies of his predecessor, former center-left President Alberto Fernandez, who had endorsed Argentina's inclusion in BRICS as a means to foster economic relations with the bloc. Miley's letters to the leaders of the BRICS nations, dated December 22 but released later, indicated that the timing for Argentina's membership in the bloc was not considered opportune. Despite this, Miley has proposed to intensify bilateral ties with the BRICS nations to increase trade and investment flows, indicating a desire to maintain economic relations without formal membership in the group. This decision comes amidst deepening economic crisis in Argentina, with Miley implementing radical economic reforms and deregulatory measures since taking office. Domestically, his approach has faced substantial opposition from powerful organized labor groups in the country, particularly due to his economic policies, which include shock therapy and austerity measures to address Argentina's high inflation. This policy shift by Argentina is significant as it reflects the country's changing stance in global geopolitics and its economic alignment. The BRICS bloc, consisting of Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa, represents a substantial portion of the world's population and GDP, and Argentina's decision to not join indicates a strategic realignment in its international relations and economic policies. As we reach the end of our exploration into BRICS in 2024, it's clear that this alliance is not just an economic group but a burgeoning geopolitical force. The launch of Maharaja Bonds marks a significant stride towards financial independence, challenging the dominance of the US dollar, Russia's chairmanship underscores a push towards a multipolar world order, highlighting the strategic importance of cooperation and collective action within the group. The expansion of BRICS, welcoming nations with diverse economic and political landscapes, signals a growing desire for a more inclusive global governance structure. Meanwhile, the cautious yet open stance of Western nations like the US and the EU reflects the evolving dynamics of international relations with potential areas for collaboration, particularly in renewable energy and climate action. 
Argentina's decision to not join BRICS under President Miley illustrates the complex interplay of national politics and global alliances. In conclusion, as BRICS continues to evolve, it challenges us to reconsider our understanding of global power structures. Offering a glimpse into a future where emerging economies play a pivotal role in shaping the world order. As we watch these developments unfold, one thing is certain, the actions of BRICS in 2024 will have far-reaching implications, not just for its members, but for the entire global community. Thanks for tuning in and watching our video. If you found it informative, please show your support by giving us a thumbs up and consider subscribing to our channel for more content like this. Thank you for watching.